first thing that people not familiar with the man need to understand is that Henchy did not teach people how to paint. He taught them or attempted to teach them how to see. He taught them how to study color relationships and light keys and form volumes and the sculptural modeling of forms and the modeling of light itself. And when he did these type demonstrations, it was to try to help the student understand the process and the approach of trying to do the color study. I'm going to stop there. What I've tried to do from the beginning of this is to show that whether you're using a knife, which is preferable, or using a brush, you go about your color study the same way. You get your bold first statement strong lights, deep colors for the shade planes, rich colors for the light planes. You develop those into large masses that relate well to one another as they appear in the light. Then we restate those, trying to get a closer relationship. Then we break each large mass down into major variations, one, two, three, four. The figure was started off with, with like three masses, but with all those convoluted shapes. The abalone was two masses of light and shade, etc., etc. The background was kept broken because it's peripheral. The focal area is up here. That's many planes beyond where your vision is focused, so it should look peripheral and distant. Then the major variations were broken into the larger minor variations, same with the figure, I swear. And then after we restated those two or three times, we came back and started looking for the minor variations within each large mass. 
and within the uh, major variations, looking for the smaller notations that do a couple of things. One, they flesh out the form, and the other is they refine the light key because the closer each one is related to one another, the more obvious the light itself is. Then as I pushed this, I pushed it up into the light itself, at least a large area of it. Henry taught people how to model form as if it were solid and three-dimensional because it was done in planes. But when those planes are well related, it generates an impression of the light key, the light itself, the form within the light. Well, if you keep pushing that and refining the minor variations and refine the minor variations further, then you're getting closer and closer to modeling the light itself, which is the actual goal of, uh, of study. And as I said in the beginning, Henchy did not teach people how to paint. He didn't teach them how to make a picture. He did not teach them impressionism. As he said, he taught them the color principles that were discovered by the impressionists. Um, so study is the important thing. If you have an illustrator mentality, I wouldn't bother with all the effort that it goes to to learn how to study this way. If all you're interested in is copying objects, being photographic about it, being an illustrator, then there are a lot easier ways to go about learning how to paint than it is from this, which requires continuous restatements, continuous restatements, continuous restatements. It's not an outline of an object filled in inside the line like a children's coloring book. The drawing develops as the color develops. As a matter of fact, how the colors related are related determine what shape that object and the perimeter of that object is. And then we have the halations bouncing off where the light, the form of the object is turning into the light and turning away from the eye. That has to be modeled. That's not where you stick your finger in it or your brush in it and smear. Uh, what's that adolescent phrase, lost and found edges, which is an absurd stupidity. Edges of forms have to be modeled into the light through color variations. Um, but I'll talk more about that in the series First Lessons 1 through 10. We're going to break it down the most elementary state possible. We'll talk about pigments, talk about knives, talk about palettes, boards, all your materials, and then about how to make masses and continue to develop the masses until you get a semblance of the light effect and then how to model with major variations and minor variations in order to get an actual light key. Uh, but it takes time to get all this done.